so in your life, maybe you have had a lot of uh, struggles, yeah. right? How, Everybody. Uh, how did you cope with them and how did you learn to cope with them now? Mm. Okay, let's take a personal example. So I was at university teaching. Mm. I think because it was one of my struggles that really uh, hit me hard by that time. It was at university teaching and then some people said, hey, there's a pri private school. We need a Spanish teacher. Can you do the job and everything? So I went to the school and um, did the Spanish course and uh, the uh, director of the school said, hey, uh, we need um, somebody fixed for, for Spanish and um, German and uh, couldn't you do the... Um, the career as you have to do one and a half more years here in Germany so that you get a licensed teacher. And then I said, actually, I didn't want to do it because I, I would have preferred to do Spanish history. And uh, and everyone said, no, you have to do Spanish German. And I didn't like <laughs> German literature. It was just not my thing. Yeah, at least at that time. And um, so I listened to everybody else. I did that one and a half years and uh, I had best grades in really everything in psychology and all this shit. It was, uh, I only had the best grades and then came the day of German exam and they kicked me out with, <laughs> they kicked me out with the worst grade I could, could have gotten in, in this exam. And this exam is not about if I'm able to speak German. It was if I'm able teaching. Yeah. So I already showed them teaching in Spanish that I, they said I was the best of everyone. And I was teaching teachers to get Spanish teachers. And now comes German. And I said, I said to her, but what do you think? It can't be Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Uh, it's the same thing. I'm teaching, yeah? And I'm teaching languages. So uh, how can it be? Oh, it's a chaos because nobody could understand that in school uh, what happened. And I was really, really pissed and sad and went uh, uh, to court because uh, and all those things yeah you just I just didn't accept it in that moment um, till the moment I realized hey you never wanted that yeah I, I never wanted it and I actually did it only because people in my life said it's a secure thing to do and blah 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 bullshit if it's not meant for you, it will not be a secure thing to do. Mm. Yeah. Something happens like this, the door closes and it's over. Yeah. And that's, and I mean, that's, and I love the protection mechanism of the divine. I mean, it could have come one and a half years earlier, but okay. I had to go through this. I had to learn. I had wonderful students. Uh, so I had really a wonderful time with the students and uh, mm. different classes, learned a lot about mentalities and, um, uh, also about children uh, with autism and things. So I had to be there somehow. Mm. But after one and a half years, it said, now you go. <laughs> you had enough. And yeah, mm. it was, uh, wow, it was quite intense because I was really, really pissed that time. But once you realize, hey, it was not your, it was just not your way, then uh, you get over it really fast. And yeah, so I really... Um, I just can say to everybody, um, get over it, get over it as fast as you can and move on. Yeah. If something like that happens, mm. it's shit. I know it doesn't feel good. Take your time to be two or three days, really pissed, cry, be angry, whatever, and then stop crying, stand up and go on.